if there's a victim impact statement here that bothers me, to be honest with you. Yes, it is. Uh, and I just have to read it uh, in paragraph six. I assume the victims in this case are white. Yes. Uh, and it, it troubles me greatly that this statement says, this incident has had the most impact on my daughter. She's in constant fear of black men. When I'm running errands, we come across a black male. She holds me tight and begs me to leave. It has affected her relationships at school and relationship with our African American friends. You don't have to answer for it, but I want to make that part of the record. I'm offended by that. I'm, I'm deeply offended by that. That they would be victimized by an individual and then express some kind of fear of all black men. I wonder if the, if, if the perpetrator had been white, would they be in fear of white men? The answer would probably be no. I'm offended by that. It's not going to affect what happens here. But I want to make it part of the record, and perhaps you pass this on. I find this very offensive. And uh, I certainly I understand the court's, the court's outrage there. Um, well, I mean, I guess I really don't, but... Well, you understand. Uh, I understand where you're coming from, Your Honor. Here's why we object to probation, Judge. But what we're really talking about here is that probation would unduly depreciate the seriousness of what happened. Um, this was a home invasion. The victims were a husband, a wife, and a three-year-old little girl. I made no mistake about it. I was uh, some outrage about a statement, a portion of that statement. Uh, but I'm also outraged uh, that anyone would go into anyone else's home and commit a violent offense like this. That's outrageous also. This little girl uh, has certainly been victimized, and uh, she can't help the way that she feels. Uh, my exception is more with her parents, and they're accepting of that kind of mentality and that fostering of that, uh, those kind of stereotypes. And I'm going to grant your motion today uh, for probation and hope to come position. And here, most times, I, don't, I can't say for sure I have to look at everything. If you commit an offense like this with a handgun, I'm going to send you to prison more times than not. I think the equities weigh in favor of you having an opportunity uh, to redeem yourself. Judge Olu Stevens has spent his career working for our community, being a leader. Olu married his college sweetheart, a doctor who's a cancer specialist. Olu Stevens prosecuted cases involving abused and neglected children, and Judge Stevens is the highest rated judge in the Louisville Bar Association poll. No wonder Judge Olu Stevens has received every major endorsement. I'm proud to be serving our community, and I'm humbled by your faith and confidence in me. Vote Judge Olu Stevens.